Hello, hello, this is David Arroyo, and today I am going to talk about a software piece or an app, I should say, that I use quite a lot. It's actually the one that I use the most out of all of them that I do use, and that app is called Procreate. You will have seen me work in Procreate, uh, especially when I do all the quickies, when I do some storyboarding. Uh, it's actually my app of choice most of the time. Uh, it's not the only app I use, obviously. I've been using Clip Studio Paint, Photoshop, Illustrator. Uh, you know, I also use 3D apps uh, or software, actually, like Blender. I use SketchUp for uh, storyboarding and Previs for film and actually also in my comics now. So, uh, but this time, uh, because I've already spoken about other uh, apps on this channel and, you know, um, I really, really thought, you know, it would be appropriate to also actually talk about the one that I use the most and why I think that one's awesome, hence the title, Why Procreate is Awesome. All right, let's uh, dive straight in and let's have a look at why I use it so much and why I choose uh, Procreate over other software for uh, some of my projects. All right, so let's get straight into it. Uh, first and foremost, I want to let you guys know that Procreate runs on iOS devices only, so iPads, iPhones. Uh, there is no app as of yet for your desktop, Mac, uh, no app for Android or Windows users or anything, so that's the downside. But if you do have Apple products, really Procreate by far is the way to go. Um, now, I'll show you guys, the app is right there. I'll show you guys, first of all, when you create a file, the things you can do. So on an iPad Pro, I have the 12.7 inch Pro, so it's the it's it's the bigger one. Uh, the screen size, you can go up to the screen size square. The 4K, you can work in 4K, no problem. Um, I've got a couple of custom ones that I have set up, like the 1080 HD video. And you can also create a new canvas yourself. You can modify the DPI if you want to work in 72 and 300, you know, it's, it's totally up to you. Uh, you can go up to, I think, 16,000 pixels on the Pro. And even if you were to do 4,000, you, you can still do it. It's maximum layers four only, but you know, you can do it. So it's just to show you guys that you can really, really go really far if you really wanted to. Uh, but we're gonna cancel that. Uh, so that's one thing. So if you're making comics and you're worried about, you know, size, well, you don't kind of have to anymore. Uh, Procreate really has got you covered on that. Talking about comics, so here you can see this is actually from my own webcomic. Um, I do a lot of the work uh, in Procreate, if not 90% of it. So I'll give you, for example, the very first test page I made uh, for the, um, the uh, webcomic was this one and the text was done in Photoshop or Illustrator, I don't remember, I think it was Illustrator. And then here you can see it was actually just, where was it? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, must be all the way to the top, or dialogue here. The dialogue, it was just imported. You can import you know, your dialogues in and out, uh, like just through your settings here somewhere, and then you go to, insert so it is very flexible though you know you can insert flat image and then wherever you want from from dropbox from whatever it takes pngs transparency it also imports full psd files now so it's really awesome in that sense uh and it you know it keeps uh, the layer structure because you can also create uh layered groups you won't see them here because uh, this was drawn before the latest update um and i haven't used the layers group yet i haven't had to yet but um, as you can see, you know, you can make full-blown comics in it in detail, full detail. You know, the, the this is a 4K image that was also a concept piece for um, the Immersion Web comic. And this is also fully done in Procreate, uh, you know, where you've got all your layers and uh, all of that stuff. So that's that. Just to quickly show you guys that I do use Procreate quite a bit. I also use it for storyboarding. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the storyboarding stuff because that's for films that aren't out yet, uh, but it kind of looks like this. You know, if I were to, I mean, this is from Immersion, so I can show you this, but most of my storyboards end up looking like this. When I hand them in, uh, they have some pencils and then some some nice, uh, you know, shading over it here and there. Um, yeah, that's all I can show you for now. So, sorry about that, but um, we'll get into, you know, the price maybe. Price of Procreate uh, is nothing. Honestly, I mean it. It's 5.99, you get the whole thing for it. 
the entire package and you only pay once. So this is in euros, by the way. I'm, I'm in Europe, so I'll give you European prices, but um, it's definitely worth it. Also, uh, it comes with an extremely useful iBook um, thing that you'll need to download from iBooks, but it is really, really useful. So you'll, you'll get your entire welcome to Procreate thing uh, with all the topics and everything, you know, you're, you're, it, it's really, really cool. Uh, and all you'll ever need, really, at least for me, is just this book. You know, yeah, you can go online on YouTube and see what people are doing and, you know, you really want to pick up some uh, tips and tricks and then go on YouTube. There are a couple of really, really good ones um, on Procreate and on how people use Procreate. Uh, but what I'm going to do is maybe make a new file, okay? Um, maybe we'll work in 4K. Let's do 4K. 4K is cool. Right, and I'm going to start drawing something and while I draw, you know, we'll speed the whole thing up but I'll explain some of the tools that I'm using and, you know, um, all of that great stuff. Uh, maybe also to let you guys know, well, this is super cool. Uh, this is from their latest update. You can now also just record <clears throat> while you're drawing. So it'll, it will capture the entire screen. And if you want, you can also capture your own face, you know, like in the corner while you're talking. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do the traditional Procreate thing. Um, unless I have to pause something and explain, but um, right, cool. Let's just get started and I'll explain to you guys why Procreate is so freaking awesome. Okay, so now we are in Procreate itself uh, and you can see me actually draw what I was drawing. Uh, it took me about two hours or so. And, um, you know, I started basically with um, the perspective line. So Procreate has this really cool, um, you know, feature where you can just set up your perspective and, you know, um, draw out all the lines. All your lines will go to your uh, vanishing point and you can use a one point perspective, two point and three point perspective. So it's really, really cool uh, to use it. That's how I got these lines to go, um, you know, the right way so quickly. I mean, the sketch itself took me about 15 minutes to do. Uh, and then I started just quick inking like what you're seeing now. It's not like clean inking like I would do on my comic, you know, then I would I would like um take much more time on the lines and position and stuff here it was literally like okay let's just quickly get something out some 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 sketch and see where we take it you know i didn't really want to set um a particular goal or something i didn't really have something in mind i just said okay first thing that comes to mind uh, i'll just draw and so i ended up drawing this like commercial street let's say you know like where you got stores and stuff and people are going down the down the street and stuff and uh i wanted like a clear foreground uh, middle ground and then you know um background now in this case the foreground is uh this guy with a baseball bat in the front uh it'll get a little bit more detail towards the end but uh, it's more like a um, you know uh yeah kind of like a scene like something you would hand in for a film i guess uh, only you know storyboards you don't hand them in this detail but um yeah something like that and then you know you maybe he's following these two people uh in the um you know down the um commercial street or something you know maybe he's like stalking them or something he's gonna rob them i don't know something of the like uh and you know yeah uh, just i quickly wanted to just basically show you guys what you can do with procreate i mean you could do this with other apps as well but the reason again why i chose procreate and why i choose procreate very often is simply because it's so it just feels natural to use, right? Uh, you know, uh, I just went and sat down on my sofa and started drawing, you know, and it was very comfortable, you know. Um, the, 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 the actual brush strokes, they also feel very natural to me, you know. It maybe doesn't feel exactly like drawing on paper, you know, paper is still the best feeling, you know, uh, with your traditional pens and stuff, but it's still very, very good, though. Um, I never have this issue of like when I'm drawing with the Apple Pencil that it feels like artificial or I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been doing a lot of digital work already. Uh, but in that sense, yeah, really cool. The brushes on Procreate are really cool. The ones that come with the app are really, really amazing. You can also uh, get additional brushes that people make and they upload it on the Procreate forums or sometimes you can purchase some like I've done. I've uh, purchased some extra inking uh, brushes, which are really useful as well. Um, 
so yeah it's it's basically procreate i use it for a lot of things basically anything that's not extreme editing and stuff like that that's what i use procreate for and so there we go we're reaching the end of the video i hope that you have liked the little demonstration on procreate i really recommend it i hope you guys uh, go and get it if you don't have it and uh, thanks for stopping by have a nice day guys